Assalamu alaikum guys Let's jump straight into this one yeah This is about Sonu Nigam and who's some Indian singer bloke and what he said about the Adhan in India <laughs> Sonu Nigam is a singer bloke from India who's expressed his disapproval about the Adhan which is the Muslim call of prayer being done on a loudspeaker at inconvenient times. So referring to Fajr which is done just before sunrise and Isha which is done at night. His tweets and words have been taken out of context and uh, have caused quite a bit of controversy thanks to the Indian media. Let's have a quick read of his tweets. The first one, God bless everyone. I'm not a Muslim and I have to be woken up by the Azan in the morning. When will this forced religiousness end in India? Let's have a look at the second tweet. And by the way, Muhammad did not have electricity when he made Islam. Why do I have to have this cacophony after Edison? And the third tweet. I don't believe in any temple or Gurudwara using electricity to wake up people who don't follow the religion. Why then? Honest? True? And the final tweet. Gundagari. Hey, bus. Gundagari means thuggery. So he's saying it is just thuggery. Right, so I took the time to actually watch the 21 minute press release. I know, <laughs> I'm a bit crazy you see. I like to hear both sides. First of all, let's tell you guys what the Adhan is. It's a heart rendering call to prayer. It uses the human voice to remind fellow servants of their duty towards God. Resonating with spirituality, the melodious tone of the Adhan is part of the beautiful experience that psychologically prepares one for a pleasant encounter with the Almighty. Beauty, fulfillment, solace, the Islamic reminder and the call to prayer. Now we know what the Adhan is, let's move on. If taken into context, Sonu Nigam only had one concern, but crowded around his choice of words and what people interpreted and his tone, of course it got misconstrued. But he only had one, the use of the loudspeaker when Adhan is done at inconvenient times. Here's what people thought he said. He has a problem with all five Adhans being done loudly. He is targeting Muslims and Islam in particular, which I can actually understand the second point because initially it did seem like that because he did mention the Adhan in particular. But then when people responded, he did also say the same applies to other religions. What was Sunan Nikam's mistake? Well, he was complaining that his tweets were taken out of context. There were several tweets, some got missed out and people didn't understand the issue as a whole. Now, all right, fair enough Sunan Nikam. But you have to understand mate, if you want to express something more comprehensively, don't do it on Twitter mate, because you said yourself, it's limited in its words. Number two, Sona. If you use words like thuggery, you may be making a valid point, but your point is not going to be taken seriously because of the choice of words my friend. And you're using words like cacophony, I'm sure you can come up with a better word than thuggery mate, yeah? I'm just saying. I had to google cacophony mate, no idea what that meant. And so no, your third mistake was claiming that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him made Islam. He didn't make Islam, the maker of Islam is Allah. And some people confuse the Prophet as the founder of Islam. We don't believe he was the founder of Islam. The founder of Islam is Allah. Yeah, and Islam started with the first human being that was created and that was Adam. Peace be upon him. Now props to him, he did take the time to apologize and clarify his position and he also showed his love to other Muslims in the industry to which he is indebted to. He could have just been a moron and just said YOLO, but he didn't. Now most importantly, what is the Islamic view on the Adhan? Now, Unlike the media, I actually took the time to call up some scholars. Now all of them gave the same consistent response, which is in a non-Muslim country, if giving Adhan for Fajr and Isha 
on the loudspeaker will disturb and harm the locals in any way, then it is discouraged. Now, what was the role of the Indian media in all this? Well, they took a fringe ruling from an unknown scholar who said that Sono has to shave off his head and should be made to walk the streets, which is clearly not an Islamic ruling. They took this and presented it as an official Islamic stance on this, which is absolutely ludicrous. Yeah? Muslims don't believe in this sort of stuff, mate. I mean, where is that written in the Quran or the Hadith, the prophetic sayings? Now, when stuff like this happens, there's two extremes. Yeah, you got the first type that say, look, I don't care about all this, mate. Yeah, it doesn't really concern me. But the issue with that is, that allows the floodgates to be opened and then worse stuff gets said and done. Yeah, and then eventually you will have to speak out but then by that time it's going to be too late and nothing can be done about it. And then you've got the second extreme which is people get very angry and emotional and start saying things that push people further away from Islam. Now if you want to express yourself and defend Islam, do it like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him. And that's done how? Diplomatically, academically and peacefully. Again, the best way to call people to Islam is through your actions. Just show people what Islam is. That's what they are hungry for. They just want Islam to be shown. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.